r slash ask reddit what's the most gata keep why opinion you hold a lot of people in the comments don't know what gata keep means stop gatekeeping gatekeeping stop gatekeeping people from gatekeeping gatekeeping for travelers if you didn't leave the airport and spend at least one day in the country you didn't visit the place I still remember when they interviewed F1 driver Kimi Raikkonen after a Malaysia Grand Prix, as he wouldn't be participating in the next season, and asked him what he was going to miss most about Malaysia. His reply was something to the effect of well, I only ever see the airport, the hotel next to the airport and the racetrack. You can decide which of those you miss the most. His blunt honesty was so funny. When asked about touring, Tom Mariah vocalist and bassist of Slayer, said in an interview, after 33 years of traveling, actually more like 29 years of actual touring and traveling, after a while, it's just tiring, and people are like oh it must be fun, you travel, you see blah blah blah, I'm like, man, if you were in my shoes you would think differently, dot, it's funny, recently we went to Europe to do press for the new album, we did 3 days in London, a day in Paris, a day in Norway, 2 days or 3 days in Germany, and people are like oh, that must be nice, did you get to see much of Paris, and I look at them, and say see this room, look around you, and they are looking around, this is my Paris, it's beautiful isn't it, comma laughs, that's what I say whenever anybody asks me that, because we're always in the hotels doing interviews and everybody asks me that. Did you get to see much of Stockholm? I'll look around and I'll show them the room. How do you like it? This is my Stockholm. It's beautiful, isn't it? I like the drapes. Look at the couch. Wonderful. And then you open the window and go this is my painting. My picture. This is what I see. As a field geologist who trains new hires, if you aren't comfortable shitting in the woods, you're not a geologist. Just sprinted to my geologist BF to ask him are you comfortable shittin' in the woods? Start. He just responded yeah, then kept working. It checks out. Yesterday while driving, I passed a small woodland with a toilet just randomly placed between trees. I had assumed it was for the bears. I didn't consider geologists. It's not real gatekeeping unless it comes from the gate region of France. What is it then? Sparkling fence sitting? Sparkling discrimination. If you don't have your shit mostly together, personally, financially, emotionally, spiritually, you should not have a child. This includes things like drinking excessively, generally being ignorant, generally being selfish, having a shitty relationship with your partner, having significant money problems, etc. If your ducks aren't in a row in your life, you should not bring a child into this world. If you can't get yourself together, how can you handle parenthood? You can't. And if when you duck it up, because you didn't have your shit together, that poor child will suffer and become an adult who may cause problems for the rest of us. I would like to add that you have to absolutely, 100%, no questions asked, want children. Just because you have all of these things in order does not mean you get to then be a shitty parent because you don't want to take care of a child or give it a shitty childhood while working and never spending time with your child. Far fewer people should be having children than even the slowing rates of today. I don't give a duck what it does to the economy because we can't support the inflation of today let alone another baby boomer generation. I think a lot of people want to have babies but don't want to parent said babies. I'm not telling you. God level gatekeeping. You and only you are allowed this knowledge. Alright then keep keep your secrets. Three wheelers and slingshots are not motorcycles. Damn right. They're just snowmobiles on wheels. Disrespectful to snowmobiles. They're cars with three wheels. The gate at my workplace is for deliveries only. I don't think you can get any gate keep here. And the white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. Modern mainstream country isn't country and if it's all you like then you don't like country. I heard the term far memo once and it is my favorite descriptor. That and hick hop for stuff like Florida Georgia line. Getting a driver's license in the United States is far too easy. I'd say roughly half of all drivers on the road have no business behind the wheel of a car. This is a problem. But it's also very easy to get your license renewed. 
You just need to pass a vision test. And even that is easy. My dad told me a story about one time he went in to get his license renewed. There was an elderly woman in front of him and she was asked to read the letters on the sign. But she couldn't hear them. It went something like this. DMV. Can you read the first row? Woman. Huh. DMV. What does the first row say? Woman. Is that any? DMV. No. Try again. Woman. Huh. DMV. Try again. He went off and did his own thing. But said that by the time he was finishing his renewal. She was in line to get her photo taken for the license renewal. Wild shit. I just renewed mine online. All I had to do was click buttons saying I didn't have any new or significant health problems. If you want to design tabletop RPGs you need to play more than just DND. IDK. The guy who invented DND had never even played DND. Mark Hamill had never even seen a Star Wars movie when he was cast for episode 4. People who have religious objections to doing necessary portions of their jobs should find a different job. Especially if you are unwilling to step aside and let a co-worker handle what you object to. Agree. There was a pharmacist who worked with my friend at a CVS on college campus. They basically only dispensed birth control and ad meds. And the pharmacist wouldn't dispense any birth control Mike, Get a different job lol. It is insane to me that in the US we allow doctors and pharmacists to add bureaucratic steps to the patient's goal because of the doc pharmacist's religious beliefs. If you don't want birth control, don't take it. If you want to stop patients from accessing it, duck off. This is like a Mormon working at a coffee shop and refusing to serve coffee because it has caffeine. If you don't want to drink it, don't. But if you can't serve the people in the shop, you need to make way for someone who can actually do your job. Don't talk about how great your country is if you haven't spent some time abroad. My country is the greatest in the word guy who's never left his zip code edit. Cruises and all inclusive hotels do not count. Edit 2. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. Addendum. Cruises do not count. All inclusive resorts often fall under that as well. I think this is gonna end up being one of those sort by controversial type of threads. So far about 20 of the 25 answers above you aren't even gatekeepy. They're just reddit popular opinions. Exactly opinions like don't have kids if you aren't mentally, financially, and physically prepared or you are responsible for controlling your mental illness are just common opinions. A gotta keep why opinion would be you shouldn't wear band t-shirts if you don't know at least 10 songs from them or I pretend I forgot where I got my favorite shirt when friends ask where it's from BC I don't want them to get it. In the car community, the whole respect all builds thing is bullshit your clapped out shitbox with ebay springs that scrapes over everything and looks like ass doesn't count. Elok Alai Hearted. Take that damn sticker off, nobody knows who you are. People who can be nice to retail workers shouldn't be allowed in shops or restaurants. I love the idea of some dystopia where you have to take tests before entering any store or market and prove that you aren't objectively a shitty person. Sadly, I have no idea how that would be implemented. I've heard stories of bouncers asking people to define consent. Failure to do so means they can't enter. I'm sure the question could vary depending on the location. But you could ask those types of questions. Like the Walmart greeter can ask where the carts go when you're done with them. Failure to say the corrals, whatever they're called, means no shopping for you. The rule of Gondor is mine and no others. Authority is not given to you to deny the return of the king. You can't be a MILF without having a child. I saw something once that said that you can't be a true MILF until your children are old enough that their friends could have a crush on you. Alas Daisy's mom. Before that you're just an attractive, usually young, person who happens to have a kid. So a hot 20 year old with a baby isn't a true MILF. This makes a lot of sense. I'm not old. It's the children that are wrong. Until your child is actually school aged, you are not homeschooling them. Specifically, stay at home parents with one year olds that brag about homeschooling their kid. You're just parenting. Your child is just a youngling who is still working on basics. It isn't homeschooling to just raise your child. Source. I am a stay at home mom with a three year old. Mom groups on social media are toxic and full of nonsense. Somewhat related. If your father taking care of the kids. 
You're not babysitting. You're just parenting. OMG. I was a stay at home dad for 5 years and this shit made me crazy. Giving mom a break huh? Mr. Mom. Hey. No jackass. These are my kids. I'm being their dad. Their mom is in another state on a business trip lawyering some shit for a bank. Everyone working in an office should be required to pass computer basics literacy tests if they're to use a computer for anything important and immediately coached for chastising IT for things they have no control over, and fired for second offenses. It's okay if you fail the test. There will be lots of training and redos, but you ain't doing nothing till you pass. It's not hard nor embarrassing to admit you don't know what the duck you're doing or what went wrong instead of automatically blaming the first warm body you see, or being generally curt, expecting me to fix something in the blink of an eye before I can even investigate the cause like some sort of slave. Crucifixions are punishments I'd be willing to enact. I would also like this because as a somewhat computer literate person, my calls with IT all begin with them assuming I'm an idiot. If we could skip that part because basic competence has been tested, it would save us both a lot of time. Me. Hi. I sp- Yep, my internet is down. There's no link on the port. It's the same issue I called to report 10 times in the past year. Power at the network equipment is down. Tech support at ISP. Do you have a router? Have you tried restarting it? Have you tried connecting your PC directly? Have you replaced the router? Can you press the start button? Open up command prompt and type in Google. Combinate, lady. The link is duck I'm down. You're not a foodie if you only eat like 5 things and pick half the stuff in every dish before you eat it. Also, you need to cook or else you really don't understand food and all the processes that go into making something. If you can't even cook basic stuff and haven't bothered to try much of anything, your food opinions don't matter. Let's just eliminate the term foodie altogether. That sounds kinda good, actually. It's so petty and I hate myself for it. But when someone sits down at a piano and pounds out either chopsticks or fur alise my soul dies. I used to really like fur alise, but I've heard it so many times now. Fur alise is a great litmus test for me. A lot of people have no clue about the B and C sections of the song. So if someone plays fur alise but just plays the part everybody knows then I get annoyed. If they play the full song, I can respect it. If you don't read, you shouldn't be trying to write. R slash writing gets regular flame outs from novice writers who refuse to read. One time I saw a commenter say they were worried about being diuretic. That's actually really shocking. Like I'm actually struggling to understand why someone would want to be a writer, hobbyist or not, without enjoying reading. Stop going to the gym, wearing the clothes, and taking the selfies if you're not gonna actually work out. Frauds. I saw stop going to the gym in that moment. I was winning. Not working out at home, not working out at the gym. As someone with a mental illness, one of the more severe ones, if you use your mental illness to abuse hurt people and not take responsibility for your actions, then I have zero sympathy for you, which I know what the popular rebuttal is. That's mental illness yo. Yay no it's not and. I don't care. I don't care if I'm gatekeeping it either. As I occasionally get accused of, it is your responsibility. Full stop. Mental illness is not your fault, but it is your responsibility. Marcus Parks. I'm bipolar 2 and I have a friend who is bipolar 1 that went off their meds because she doesn't see why she has to stay drugged up her whole life just because she's a little different. I wholeheartedly sympathize and wholeheartedly disagree. It sucks and it's a shitty hand to be dealt in life. But it's our responsibility to manage our issues. Lord's knows mania can be really fun. But it's also really dangerous to yourself and others. As a fan of sneakers, people that buy limited shoes and lock them away or put them on display with zero intention to wear don't deserve to have them at all. I mean at this point the whole sneaker culture in the US is just insane. Here is a limited edition piece of plastic we made for 50 cents in China. That LL go for $250 in retail. In the car world we call those trailer queens. $100. 000 restored cars that will never see a street. My opinion on this varies. I would never admit this to anyone IRL, but I hated what rich kids have done to thrift shopping like I can't afford second hand clothes anymore. 
I am so mad at the gentrification of secondhand shopping. I remember going to Goodwill for my back to school clothes in elementary and getting an entire wardrobe for $30. Moved countries. Secondhand is trendy here. Can't get a single goddamn t-shirt for $30. It's become cheaper to buy fast fashion than to buy secondhand. What's the ducking point? You shouldn't wear band t-shirts if you don't know the band. The original gatekeeping. Bass Pro Shops hat hey bro. Name 5 freshwater fish. You're not a real dog person if you can't respect that some dogs don't like people and they need some space. If you claim all dogs like me, then you like the image of yourself being a dog person. More than you actually like dogs. The hijacking because it loosely relates to my gatter keep. People should not be allowed to own pets unless they understand that they have conscious agency. They're not a living teddy that you can just stuff in a crate when you're done playing with them for the day. They're living conscious beings who deserve freedom, life, and respect. Not everyone's opinion carries the same weight. An expert in a field should have far more say than a random member of the public. RE generated art is hauntingly beautiful, but it pisses me off a little bit. I got really into painting for the first time during the pandemic, and it can take me hours to make one single amateur level painting. While this random computer robot can spit out a dozen different brand new images based on a couple of words, I get that it's a kind of art in and of itself, I guess. But it doesn't follow the spirit of art to me, and I admit, I'm jealous. The RE art doesn't really piss me off as much as people claiming to be artists who just take credit for RE created images, or who sell RE generated images. Oh, it's much worse and insidious than that. RE is now rife in my field of astrophotography. People will happily have RE create new non-existent detail via RE sharpening and RE noise reduction, ring paint vast parts of their photos, star removal. And still claim I am at his PO2. Worse, I have seen now at least one astrophotography contest where top marks were given to an image with a plethora of RE artifacts. Easy to detect once you know what to look for, and randomly missing stars. The layman public has no idea, and thinks it's all great. Make this sort of art all you want, but don't claim it's a photograph. It doesn't describe reality and you didn't capture those deep faked photons in detail. Rant over. No one but those approved by me are allowed in my favorite swimming spot. You can't get past my community college A and B biology class with a C. You shouldn't be a nurse. Edit. I guess I wasn't entirely clear. This is the policy of my former institution. That is not a legitimate hoverboard. Shit's got wheels. Joking aside, if you're going to use logic to try to justify your religious beliefs you can't just throw out the logic and use faith as evidence when your logic is revealed to be inconsistent and self-defeating. If you find a cool hike, camping spot, or fishing hole, don't tell anybody, especially not the internet. Edit. For those correctly pointing out that keeping secrets is not gatekeeping, if you are asked for outdoor recommendations, the answer is no. There you go. You're not an expert in the culture of a place if you don't speak its language. Expats who put no real effort into learning the country's language are super cringe. Self-diagnosing mental illness. You can think that you might have a mental illness but you shouldn't go around telling everyone you do if you don't for sure. Some people take advantage of that and diagnose themselves with 10 plus mental illnesses according to stereotypes. Also if someone said that they had cancer they would be told to get tested not just self-diagnose because who does that? I feel like it undermines mental illness as not a real thing. When I ask people their favorite dinosaur and they tell me pterodactyl or plesiosaurus, being the responsible dinosaur fan that I am, I have to break the news that those aren't actually dinosaurs, but flying aquatic reptiles. Edit. Please keep commenting your favorite prehistoric creatures, dinosaur or not. It's great seeing people so excited about it. Mine would be Parasaurolophus. If you get tattoos on your face, you have no right to complain about the difficulty of getting a job, edit, or customers, if self-employed. If you ride a motorcycle, BMX bike, skateboard, rollerblades, on your wheel, 
etc. And don't wear a helmet because I know how to fall or some other stupid bullshit. You should be utterly ostracized from the community. That is selfish. And not only are you putting people who love you or rely on you at risk, you are also risking the mental health of whatever first responder has to scrape your brains off the road. In an ethics class I was assigned the stance of arguing for helmet laws when riding motorcycles. I went to school in a state that doesn't have this law. That was part of my argument, that if you get into an accident, you're causing psychological damage to those who witness it as well as the people who help treat you. Not everyone deserves to have a mullet. There should be an age limit on people holding office. Once saw a video about chocolate and they had brought in 3 chocolate experts to taste some high quality chocolate. These Moffas listed shit like Hershey's and Reese's as their favorite chocolate. Now, I treat chocolate like wine snobs treat wine and hearing those peasants talk about Hershey and Reese's in the same category as chocolate, triggered the duck out of me. Then they proceeded to taste actual real chocolate, presumably for the first time in their lives and they scrunched up their faces and said it was bitter. You don't love chocolate if the taste of real chocolate makes you scrunch up your face. You just like sugar and lard painted brown. You cannot claim to be intelligent and believe in any religious nonsense. Religion is for the scared or weak minded. The projection here is mind boggling. You're not really a Lotter or Harry Potter fan if you base it all on the movies and not the books. The books add so many dimensions that are just absent from the movies. Bicycles need to get off the road. They are a nuisance and a hazard and bicyclists should drive their bikes to designated bike paths. In other words duck r slash duckers. As a motorist and a cyclist, grow up. Bicycles aren't just for recreation. Gatekeeping who should be allowed to get to their jobs is not the same thing as gatekeeping Star Wars fandom. As a social worker who just took a youth to a shelter, stop ducking having kids willy nilly. You don't love your kid if you're just gonna kick them out over a disagreement. Most people claiming to be Christians aren't actually Christian. The so-called American conservative brand of Christianity is pretty much the opposite of Christ's teachings. If you are Caucasian, you should not utter any version of the N-word. Not in a song. Not with a hard R. Not with an R at the end. I don't care if you were born and raised in the hood. I don't care if you married into a black family. I don't care if you adopted an entire bus full of black orphans from Haiti. That is not for you. Do not do it ever. Edit. Holy crap. I kicked the W. A. S. P. Nest and the bigots came flying out. Face rolling on the floor laughing. Face rolling on the floor laughing. Face rolling on the floor laughing. I don't think anyone should say it ever. I do not think poly relationships work, and at least one person will be hurt. Emotionally, my gotta keep why part is that it's also not queer although men acclaim it as so. Straight folk have been doing their form of poly for a long time adjacent to us. It's not queer, it's just sloppy people wanting lots of sex forming polycules or whatever and when it collapses the two who actually want to be together will jettison their third and or fourth so on. I highly doubt this is gatekeeping, but changing a character's race. I mean come on I know for a fact people would have made a fuss if a character who was originally black was just made white, but it wouldn't be if it was vice versa. Just leave the damn character's race alone for god's sake edit, grammar edit. Just to clarify cause someone decided to say I was racist. What I mean is if a character whose race is set in stone for the said character or if it's in a certain place during a certain time period. Wouldn't it be weird to just change the race? I mean people are bringing up the aerial thing I just found out about and look. It's a mermaid it doesn't have a set race. But say if you make another John Wick movie or SMTHN. IDK I'm not good with examples. And made him Indian and not the race he was before. I'm not saying it would ruin the movie but it wouldn't make sense to the previous movies unless say it's a spin-off which is cool too. Plus there's already the fact if a black character was turned white it would've been a bigger issue than if it was any other race. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm by all means not being racist I'm simply saying race shouldn't be changed for certain characters regardless of the original race. Unless it's for certain things like mermaids. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.